Okay. Whoa. This thing on? Here we go. We'll test the video. Alright. So, basically, I have spent the last week or so hacking my iPod and tweaking it to perfection. And I feel like showing everybody what I've done here with my iPod Touch. Let's just start her up. Yeah, kind of hard to see. It doesn't focus well. Try to, oh, oh, let's do it like that. Do it at an angle there. But as you can see, it starts up just like a 360. It's all your blades, Facebook, MySpace, my yearbook, Twitter, Mebo, text messaging app, a browser, Zoom, my games, my apps, and my tools. Now, if we go back to the beginning, as you can see, everything is fully functional. Clicking on the empty spot in the blade brings up my settings menu. I exit out of that. Clicking on my avatar brings up 360 Live. Let's see if I can't lay this down so it's not so shaky. Which, after it loads, loads my 360 friends list shows me what everyone's doing online and I can click on somebody's gamer card like Ben here and I can click the gamer card button at the bottom to see Ben's gamer card what Ben's been doing see if I can I change the filter or anything on this one Let's try to focus a little better well, it's not focusing very well. It does if I pull it back. Okay, well, exit out of that. Clicking on the mail icon in the top brings up my Gmail. Which I have a couple new messages of. Exit out of that. Sliding to the next blade, I can click on Facebook. Which brings up my Facebook. Everything works live. And the Facebook on this is actually more functional than the actual Facebook on 360. Sad but true. Okay, well, there you go. You see my Facebook. I can do the same with MySpace and Yearbook. Where are that? Got my Twitter account here. Mebo. Text messaging app, which lets me text people. An internet browser. Clicking on the Zoom marketplace here. Loads. A folder with the iTunes Store, my photos, uh, YouTube, two radio apps, G4 app, local news app, and the Onion News Network, which I added myself up. Oh, now, clicking down here, as you've all seen the bar at the bottom, up oh, my games folder, clicking on that will load all my games. Go ahead and go through all the blades before I show you what the bottom does. I need to upgrade to a HD camera. This thing's not very focused. As you can see, it's got all my, my numerous games in it. And I can click on any one of those to play them. Same thing with my apps. I could open that up and show you all my apps. Same thing with the tools at the end, which let me tweak everything. Now clicking down here at the bottom on the 360 logo itself will show me all the apps I have open and running. Clicking on the X button at the bottom down here brings up my collection of music uh, all my songs clicking on the Y button brings up my collection of videos such as the classic gotta play it just to piss him off let's see where is it at where is it up oh, there we go my classic video. Turn it sideways to watch it. Mitch! Drunk, stripping, and raping my cat. I'm going to of that. And there's my 360 dashboard. My 360 iPod. Which I'm pretty proud of. Exiting out of it. It, does, it has all sound effects and icons and logos. Turning it up brings up a 360 type adapter. Oh yeah, sliding, this is kind of a hidden feature, sliding it on the clock. My hand across the clock brings up a settings menu which has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, 
SSH to allow me to get into the file system and make all these changes, numerous tweaks at the bottom, the applications app, which shows me all running applications and an option to free up memory by simply clicking a button. Let's exit out of all that. And, of course, closing the iPod itself. I'll make more 360-like noises. And then when I wake it up, it shows my 360 login screen and the time. So there you have it. One fully hacked and tweaked Xbox 360 iPod Touch. Oh yeah.